Before we get started, subscribe to my channel. This has been a debated subject for years. I know me and my brothers, we discuss it sometimes, me and my friends. Uh, should a husband and wife share an account? Should they have separate accounts? Should they have a shared or separate account? Uh, that's a good question. Me and my wife have been married going on 29 years. This August, it'll be 29 years. And we have had discussions about that too, you know? I know when we, we met when we was in college and we didn't share any accounts. We had different accounts. We both was working and we had different accounts. And then when we got married in 94, 1994, we started sharing a, an account, but we didn't have any separate accounts. So if I wanted to do something for my wife and get money out, she's going to, hey, what you doing with the money? Or if she want to do something for me, I'm going to ask the same thing. So that shared account was causing a little problem because we couldn't do anything uh, without the other person, person knowing. So probably after a little while, we did get separate accounts and shared accounts. And I know the maintenance for me, I don't do, you know, for me, I think I spend no more than $100 a month on myself. I don't go shopping. I don't like shopping. I, I don't even think I ever bought a pair of pants or a shirt or nothing. My wife buy everything for me. I go get my haircut. You know, haircuts are getting a little bit expensive here in Houston, like $45, $50 for a haircut. So maybe I get a haircut maybe um, twice a month. Sometimes I cut my hair myself. Like this morning, I cut my hair myself. Uh, it, I got clippers. I've been cutting my son here since he was a little boy. He's 20, uh, 23 now. I think he probably went to the barber shop maybe twice or three times in his whole life. I always cut his hair. So I say $100 a month maintenance on me. But my wife, she had to get her nails done. She got to get her hair done. She got to go shopping. And you start adding all that stuff up. You're looking at whew, maybe five, $600 a month maybe even more. So the maintenance on her compared to me is like five or 10 times. So sharing an account, I think me personally, what you guys think? Should you share an account or should you have separate accounts or share it or separate accounts? You know, um, that's just been a debated subject. So I just wanna know what you guys think about this. I know some old school people out there, they're gonna say, hey, you don't need no separate account. Then the younger people, they don't even want shared accounts now. They don't want separate or shared accounts. But people in my age, Generation X, I call us Generation X, I think we have a personal, one personal account and one uh, shared account. Like I like to invest. And my wife, she's scared of investment. So if we got a, a joint account and I want to take $10,000 and invest it, oh, that's a problem. <laughs> no, no, she, she gets scared about that. So I would have to have a separate account and just do the investment. Because if she see that, she gonna, she'll have a fit, you know? So I just want to know what you guys think. Um, joint accounts and separate accounts, joint and separate, uh, what you guys think. So leave comments and tell me, guys, tell me how you guys do it. Uh, I know single people, I don't know if they've been together for five or six years and they're not married yet, might as well be married in Texas, that's common law. But if you're married, me personally, I think you should have a joint account and each one of you should have a separate account, especially if you wanna go out and buy the other person something. I know my wife, she don't watch my YouTube videos, so maybe she'll take her separate account, single account and go and buy me a Rolex watch, something like that. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel. And I'm gonna go get my food truck washed up. Uh, it's a lot of dust out here and it's a mess. I don't know if they're putting apartments up over across over here and 
the storage building, I keep some of my stuff here in the storage and it's dust everywhere. And they won't even give me a discount. But anyway, again, thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel and leave comments and tell me what you think. All right.